Danny Flexen here for seconds out with heavyweight Daniel Dubois looking bigger than ever I must say. Have you been putting on some some muscle in camp? I've been trying to lose a bit of weight actually but yeah I find I put on weight pretty quick and you know well I'm just I'm just been in training just trying to do the best I can. What was the thinking behind trying to lose a little bit of weight in the first place? Why were you wanting to? to be in you know decent shape to fight you know you have to have a fighting weight a fighting you know I feel right I feel good so yeah I'm on I'm on point. We speak to you now just before the public workout in Brent Cross for your big headline appearance at Wembley Arena on Saturday. What do you take from events like this in terms of doing a public workout? How similar is it to a workout you do in the gym, for example? Uh, to be honest, it's the same. It's, um, yeah, it's really no difference. You know, pads, bags, you know, we do it every day in the gym, so it's not, it's not too much of a big deal. There's different people watching, so I guess different people that probably don't might not even have an interest in boxing will be seeing this. So it's we can see just over to the side, Martin Bowers wrapping your hands, ready for this public workout. How important in your progress so far has your trainer been? Yeah, it's very, very, very important. You know, when <laughs> don't dare say no. Yeah, no, go on, carry on. <laughs> it is what it is. Right? <laughs> Training relationship, I guess. Yeah, it's all right. How hard is he on you? Because, you know, size of you, you don't seem particularly menacing, but once you're in the ring hitting those pads, I imagine it can get pretty intimidating. So how hard is he on you? Well, we understand the task we're, we're undertaking. We're fighters, so we're in the, we're in the gym. We don't try and lo try not let anything bother us and just try and stay focused every day, really. It's not, we, as long as we're working all right, then we just do the best we can. What does Richard Larty, your opponent on Saturday, bring to the table? Um, we have to see. I'm, 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 I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm ready for a fight, whatever he brings. So, um, well, on the night I'll, I'll work him out, and you know, I'll be, I have too much for him, and I, I have too much of my arsenal, and I'm ready to fight. Really, I can't really speak too much on his behalf or what he's going to do. You were recently nominated to fight for the British title against Joe Joyce. Um, the purse bids for that were postponed by a couple of weeks. I think they're coming out this week, is it? Might, maybe you can tell me. Sorry. The um, postponed purse bids for the board Joyce, is yeah. that due this week now? As far as, far as I know, yeah. Yeah, so due this week, although there's been rumours that uh, Joyce is withdrawing. We don't know how true they are, but if that does happen, is there anyone else you can see in the frame that well, you'd like? Fair, all we're doing is focusing on this fight, isn't it? So we haven't really looked and we're not even thinking about that yet. So we'll let that happen. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you were here. Um, so that's the British title, but without talking about potential opponents then, is the British title still something that you're desperate to win? Is it kind of a childhood ambition? Um, it's, uh, uh, for every fighter, I believe, every fighter should have an ambition to be the best and prove they're the best. You have to beat the best to be the best. So, um, yeah, being the number one ranked and um, having a belt to prove it is even better. Although you're a number of rungs away from the world stage just yet, when you heard the news that Jarrell Miller had been ruled out of the Anthony Joshua fight, was there kind of a crazy part of you that thought, I'll do it, I'll step in, I'm getting ready for a fight anyway? No, we have to stay realistic. Of course, it's a great opportunity for any fighter and should I, you know, uh, 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 go for it with all pounds, but... You know, I'm at where I'm at and I just need to keep winning. What did you make of that whole situation of, of uh, Jarrell Miller failing, not just for one substance, but for three over separate tests? That was crazy, right? Really, really, really strange. Um, you know, I can't, I can't say too much, but, you know, I think he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's done and, you know, look, everyone else is going to, going to condemn him anyway, so there's not much really to say. Does it worry you though as a heavyweight? Because a lot of the times the boxers taking things it was to make weight and things like that and they're smaller guys, but it seems really prevalent amongst the heavyweights at the moment and you're going in against people that it's a dangerous sport, heavyweights hit the hardest. Does that does it scare you that it people are getting me. using? It never scares me because I know I've, I've always got a man in front of me. But if the it's not it's not really um you know, it's not right when another man's, you know, trying to enhance his performance by taking whatever they made, what they know they're taking. It's not good. It needs to, you know, clean, stay clean. I know I'm clean. I don't, I don't use anything. You know, it's just hard work and dedication. But aside from just the physical kind of danger of it, you seem like a real humble, grounded guy. Does it kind of, excuse my language, piss you off when you see guys doing stuff like this? Does it? Are you disgusted by it? I guess, like morally. Yes, yes, definitely, definitely. It's, it's not right. It needs to, you know, 
I think the the, the, the commissions and everything they're doing the, the best of the job they can do to clean it out and find the people that are, you know, doing that sort of thing. So, you know, drug treats need to, you know, they need to step aside and let real fighters fight. Do you ever get uninformed people making comments like that about you because you're very muscular? You see it with Joshua all the time. Yeah. Oh, he must be on steroids and stuff. Obviously, we see people in the gym all the time who are muscular with, with no aid whatsoever. But do you ever get that kind of ill-informed criticism? Um, sometimes, you know, people, people are going to talk and I guess people... It doesn't bother me. I know I'm not, I'm not on none of that. So really, it's, that's not my, none of my business. I don't really care to even think about what they say. And for people that haven't seen you before, and I find that unlikely at this stage, you seem to be getting the public attention, but what can they expect from you on Saturday night? Um, a spectacular performance and, you know, a real, you know, I go in there to win from the very first bell and that's just my style and, you know, they're going to see proper boxing and, you know, my, my class, what I have. And would it mean more to you to go into a potential British title fight as the Commonwealth champion? Um, Really, it doesn't really. To be honest, I'm I'm just a fighter. I'm fighting whoever they put in front of me, and at this this stage in my career, I can't really say for sure. But to have a, a belt, any belt would be good. You know, if it brings more money to the table, absolutely. Brilliant. Well, we really thank you for your time, and best of luck with your workout and the fight on Saturday night.